Hey guys, Wayne Jennings here. Got myself a new bicycle headlight. Now, I didn't pay for this. This was sent to me by a company called Security Ing. They wanted me to hook it up and check it out. Seems to be a you know, pretty versatile little light. It's got twin LED uh, headlights there. It's made out of aluminum, so it's pretty durable. It's waterproof, and it has an output of up to 1200 lumens. That's very bright. So let's hook it onto the bike and we'll check it out. This bicycle light comes in this attractive box with all the items shown here. Of course, you get the dual beam headlamp itself and it's equipped with two Cree XML T6 U2 LED bulbs. There are two sizes of heavy duty mounting bands to help secure your headlight. Power for the light comes from this rechargeable 8.4 volt battery rated at 4,000 milliamp hours. And there is an AC adapter for charging the battery. This bicycle lighting system consists of two key components. There's the headlight itself, which you would basically just mount on your uh, handlebar. And there is the separate battery pack. They connect with a cable here. Um, that way, when it's time to recharge, you just take in the battery pack. You can leave the headlight mounted securely on the handlebar. Attaching the light to the handlebars is really easy. It comes with this metal mount on the bottom, which is curved. It's got some uh, rubber on the inside, so it'll grip nicely and won't move on you. And there's no tools required. It comes with two different sizes of these really thick, heavy-duty uh, rubber bands. And they basically just hook on. There's a little clip on the front here. You clip the front on, find where you want it to mount it, and then just pull that band around the back, hook it on the back, and it's good and secure. You can tilt it up or down and it'll stay where you aim it. The separate battery pack can be attached elsewhere on your bike, uh, you know, seat posts or in this case a cross beam. The battery comes in this little pouch like so. It's got Velcro to keep it in there and there's a strap on the back here so you just wrap it around whatever beam or post you choose pull it through, pull it nice and tight, and that Velcro should hold it in place. Now it also has this cable, which you then plug in to the headlight cable, uh, tighten it up, makes a nice waterproof connection to run your light, and when the battery does die, you can just open up the Velcro, pull it out, take it inside, and then you plug this into your AC adapter inside to recharge it. The 8.4 volt battery it's pretty powerful, rated at 4,000 milliamp hours. Now to charge it, you have to use the included AC charger. So you basically just plug that into a wall outlet. The green LED comes on to indicate the charger is getting power. Then you just plug that cable in here. So now the battery is hooked up to the charger. The LED turns red and it will stay red until the battery is fully charged. Uh, this battery tends to take a very long time to charge. In my testings, I found it was anywhere from seven and a half to eight hours to get a full charge. When the headlight is plugged into the battery, these three LEDs light up to show you how much charge you have. When all three are lit up, it's 100% charged. When the bottom two are lit up, it's at 50%. And when there's just one remaining, you have 25% of your battery remaining. Now there's a single switch and you just toggle through that for your different settings. Just push and hold the button and it comes on on the low setting. Uh, on a fully charged battery, I got about five hours of runtime on the low setting. Push it once more, it goes to the medium setting. Uh, on a fully charged battery, I got about two hours and 15 minutes on the medium setting. Push it a third time and it jumps up to the high setting. Uh, maximum runtime I got on high was just two hours and nine minutes. Now, when it's on high, if you push and hold it for a few seconds, it reverts to this flashing or strobe setting. Of course, the best way to test out a bike light is at night outside, and of course, we have the low, medium, and high setting. But I find in an urban setting where you have street lights, what works best for me is if you put it on the flashing or the strobe setting, that way, you know, you don't really need the light to see because you have the street lights, but this way, other people and other cars will definitely see you coming. 
Now when there is no street lights, using a headlight uh, makes a big difference. I'll just go through the three intensities here so you can get an idea. So right now it's turned off. We'll just put on the low. That is the low setting. Now we'll switch it to medium. There's medium and we'll switch it to high. So it gives a pretty good light down this gravel path. Now the specifications for this uh, light claims that it's waterproof and certainly the headlight looks waterproof. I mean, there's no uh, openings where water could get in, uh, a nice uh, grommet where the wire goes in and the switch is covered with a rubber coating. So I think that is definitely waterproof. You're not gonna have a problem there. My concern though is the battery itself. I mean, it doesn't look very waterproof. I mean, it might be, and you know, I'm not gonna soak it in water to check, but I'm not sure how waterproof this battery is. It, yeah, it's wrapped in this plastic material, but there's kind of an opening in the top there. You know, if a drop of water gets in, is it gonna short out? I'm not really sure. And even the little case it comes in, it's just this fabric material, which, yeah, maybe that's waterproof, but when you close the lid, it's still open to the elements. I think a company like this should really have uh, considered something like a hard shell, like a clam case, you know, maybe with an O-ring seal. You could still mount it to the bike, but it would be, um, you know, a little more protective in the elements. This great little bicycle light comes packaged in this attractive box, but I think it's worth mentioning that something got lost in translation because it says right in the front here, for outdoor sports, camping, traveling, hiking, waterproof design. Well, unfortunately, most of that is wrong. Yes, it's got a waterproof design, but I would not use this for sports, camping, traveling, hiking, because there is no handle. There's no way to hold it. And if you tried holding it, it gets very, very hot. So you wouldn't want to be holding it. There's no bracket to put it on a helmet or a hat. The only bracket is designed to put on a bicycle. So if you're looking for a, a light for camping, hiking, things like that, do not consider this. But if you're looking for a very bright, very durable bicycle light, then this is great. It's worth considering.